Welcome! This video shows you how to release and deliver cargo or items after processing a consolidated import shipment transaction. Whether you have a warehouse or not, you can still release cargo in Magaya. Here we have an import shipment. This is the master and this is the house. If you don't have a warehouse, you can simply go to actions and use one of these three statuses. In the release phase, you can use set reset delivered. If you do this on the master, all the houses are delivered as well. If you want to individually release a house, simply go to the house, click the actions button and use that option. Also, within each house and each master is an events tab. This allows you to add more events so you can notify your customers. If you would like to customize these, you can go to maintenance, configuration, then event definition. By using the option set reset delivered, you're simply updating the status of each shipment and potentially notifying your customers. To notify your customers, you can use the email button here and send a tracking link by email. Since not having a warehouse means that you don't physically need to release the cargo, you still may need documentation to facilitate this process. In this example, we added the destination delivery order onto the master. You can also add this type of document or other documents to the houses as well. If you have a warehouse, there's a few different ways to release cargo. You can either release the master or houses by clicking the actions button and using the release option. Keep in mind that you'll need to do a reception prior to actually releasing the cargo. So therefore, the reception process will create the warehouse receipts and the release option will create the cargo releases. When we click the release button, we get the release shipment window. In here, we can select who to release it to and we can enter a pro number if necessary. Issued by is my company and the employee. Once I'm ready to release, I simply select the line items and click the release button. We'll accept and then we can use the go to cargo release button to go to the cargo release. Here's the cargo release. If you would like a different template, simply click on the actions button and select template. Select the template that you would like and then click the OK button. Now let's see a cargo release option for quality control. When we click on the Actions button, we can use the option called Verify Packing List. While this screen is open, we can use a barcode scanner to scan the items. When we scan the barcodes on each item, the items will drop down to the section called Packing List Verified. If the barcode is unreadable in any way, you can click the Enter Code button and enter the barcode there. Once you're done verifying the items, you can click the Actions button and print a report. Once we're ready to deliver the items, we have a few options. If we want to do this manually, simply click the Actions button and set the cargo release to In Transit and then Delivered. We can also use our Express Link feature in order to ship this cargo release with FedEx, UPS or USPS. If you have your own trucks, you can click the Task button and create a Final Mile task. Select your employee and in the task type, choose Delivery Final Mile. This task will be sent to your tracker's smartphone so they can deliver the items. Once you send the final mile task, the in transit status will be automatically created and when they deliver the cargo, the delivered status will be automatically created. This is all done within the cargo release. For example, if we click on the edit button, we'll see the status is here. In addition, the proof of delivery tab will be updated with all the final mile information, including the consignee's signature. If you would like to send the proof of delivery to your customer, you can click on the email button and send the entire document. This will include the cargo release and signature. In this example, we'll manually release the cargo by going to the actions button and then clicking the delivered button. If we edit the cargo release, we'll see that it's delivered. And when we go back to the house shipment, we'll see it's delivered here too. The events of the house are also updated. And in this example, the master is also updated you'll see that the master also shows delivered. If the master has multiple house shipments, the master will not be delivered until all house shipments are delivered. When the statuses of your house and master shipments are updated at destination and the shipment was received electronically via the Magai network, the origin office where the shipment originated from is also updated. In this example, the cargo release originated from the house shipment. But another way to release items is to create a cargo release using items already in the warehouse. In the cargo release, click the Add button. 
If we add a cargo release this way, we'll need to have created a shipment reception or have simply created warehouse receipts. So now in the cargo release wizard, you'll automatically receive a cargo release number, then you have the creation date and release date and time. Here we have our company's employee and division, our company name, and who we're releasing this to. Here we have the client to bill, and if they're different than the release to party, you can simply change it. Now let's click next, and in here we can select the trucker who's going to deliver the cargo. Note that you can add third party truckers or your own trucks by using the land carrier option. This is all available in the carrier section under maintenance. So let's go ahead and select this trucking company, enter the driver's name, their license number, pro number, tracking number, and PO number if we have any of this information. We can click next at any time, and now we need to select the cargo to release. This is either done by warehouse receipts, inventory part numbers, or we can even scan items. In this example, we'll do this by warehouse receipt, and we can select the entire warehouse receipt, or expand the warehouse receipt, select the items, and then click the pieces button. In here, we can choose a partial release, click OK, and then click finish. Here we have the cargo release. Check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.